Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to a video on how to get your own custom computer craft programs into your Minecraft world if you didn't write them inside of Minecraft. So for example, if you downloaded some of the ones I showcased in a different video, uh, in the other video I did, then um, this is uh, a way to go about doing it. There's a different way to do it using an HTTP proxy or something like that. Like I, there's a different way of doing it, there's, and that's actually the recommended way of doing it. I don't do it that way because I couldn't figure out how the hell to do it, but um, this is the way I do it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a disk drive and a disk. So what you do is you take the disk and you put your disk in the disk drive. And um, if you want to know how to make these, here's a quick recipe guide. Um, I'm sorry, actually, um, wait, sorry, recipe. Here you go. This is how you make a disk drive. And then here's how you make a floppy disk. It's... Um, Actually, this is this is how you make it. Basically, it's redstone and paper, and then whatever color dye you want for the, the floppy disk. So you put your disk in the disk drive, and then you take your turtle, and then you put your turtle down, and then when you're in here, uh, it creates a directory called disk, and that's exactly what you need. So you just want your disk thing, and then what I normally do is I make a uh, folder in here um, called programs. So that's um, if you want to know how to do that, how to make a directory, or directory is called a folder. So if you're playing with, um, for example, if you're using like a standard Windows display, a directory would be something like this, and then these would be files. So make directory is mkdir, and then programs, and then, or the name of your folder. So now I can just change the directory to programs, and there you go. Now I have, that's where I'm going to be putting all my custom programs. So if I go into here, this is um, the way to get to this folder is you go to your mod pack folder. So I'm playing on the beta uh, A version of the Feed the Beast official mod pack. And what you do is you go into your Minecraft folder, go into your saves, whatever the world is that you're going to. So I'm in this case playing on the test world. So play test, go into computer, disk, one is just you know the uh whatever disk you're currently using if you have multiple disks then it would be one two three four five in which order you started uh using them so we go to one and then programs there's my directory that i made and that now it is currently empty but if i go ahead and if i first if before you do any operations in your folders you want to make sure you save and quit to the title so that way you can manipulate your world folders so if i go into here and then I go to the same place that it was at before. And then I want to copy, let's say I want to copy the programs that I have in my other world. So disk, I go to where I have them currently stored. These are currently the, all the programs I have stored in my other world. And say I want to bring them into the new world. I just copy them and I paste them into here. So if I paste them into the disk, wherever my folder is, and then if I now uh, reload the save, so let's go ahead and get into the test world. And now if I go into here and I list the stuff, so change to disk, change to programs. If I now list it, all my programs are now in here. And so now if I want to go edit them, I can now edit them perfectly fine. So now if I go to exit here, um, if I want to do a saplings, uh, just, just for fun, just to show that it actually does work. So if I do bone meal is when I, I don't need bone, bone meal. And then I need dirt. So example, if I have my tree cutting program, what it will do is um, in a, it'll take a jungle tree that I have grown to full size. So now if I call the tree cutting program, as you can see, it works perfectly fine with no flaws. And it's really simple to do, actually. Um, you can do it with a different way to do it, but this is just the way I go about it. It only takes, as you can see for the video, it only takes you a minute, minute and a half at most. But once you start memorizing where your directory is, it takes you literally seconds to move the file into its proper place. So there you go. I hope this has helped a lot of you, and I have more programs coming in the future. I'm currently working on one that clears um, a room. So if I have, for example, if I have a room or I want to clear out this space particularly it's going to be a square or a rectangular rectangular shape but if I want to clear out this space then the turtle will go through and clear out just this space given the dimension so that's the one I'm currently working on 
And um, again, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it and give you any hints or um, help on whatever you need. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.